Welcome. Uh, I'm here today with uh, Julie Kennedy, uh, a longtime parishioner here at the Church of Our Savior, um, as well as longtime uh, vestry member and senior warden. Um, so, so Julie, as we spend time together, you know, tell us a little bit about your, your history here at the Church of Our Savior. I came to Church of Our Savior as a 10-year-old singing in the junior choir, and I stayed pretty much regularly up until I graduated from high school. College years were a little iffy and then have been a regular attender for the past nearly 42 years since Scott and I got married there. So that's a long time. Excellent. And what have you been involved in over that time? Here? What have I been involved in? Um, my number one activity would be a member of the choir. Singing is what brought me to Church of Our Savior and I stayed because of the choir. I have been a vestry member as well as senior warden for a whopping four years. I'm now altar guild directress. I've been on the strategic plan. I have been actively involved in Vacation Bible School for about 35 years. Um, I'm an EFM mentor, so I've gone through the EFM program. I think I could probably go on and on, but we could be here for longer than we want to be here for this. <laughs> Obvious. Well, uh, you know, you, you know, we're we're in the middle of um, our our annual giving campaign for 2021, um, and and as someone well versed in uh, annual giving campaigns or stewardship campaigns, you know, what does giving, you know, in general and giving in at, to Church of Our Savior in particular mean to you? When we first started, pledging was just something I did. Um, just a little bit went off the top and that's kind of what we did. And as I became more and more involved in the church, I really believe that giving and kind of figuring out what you're going to do is a spiritual practice. I truly believe in everything that Church of Our Savior stands for mm -hmm. um, and that it doesn't happen without financial resources. And it also doesn't happen without manpower hours and so part of my spiritual practice is giving back of my time as well as my my treasure mm. thank you um you know julie you had you have the unique the very unique experience of of being a senior warden during a, a transition between rectors which people like me know that that means that you are, uh, you know, the ecclesiastical authority, in a sense, you were in charge during that transition. And so you, you were privy to conversations uh, while I was being interviewed. Um, I remember one of my first conver one of my first phone calls from COS was from you. Uh, I certainly got to know you as I, as I interviewed with you. And, and so um, um, I, I suspect, and I even know that um, during this pandemic, it's challenging for people who, weren't a part of those conversations to understand, you know, why uh, the Church of Our Savior's vestry makes some decisions it makes and, and, and what challenges we're trying to strategically address um, during this pandemic. So from, from where you sit and from where you've sat, um, um, where do you, how do you see us um, um, maintaining loyalty and faithfulness um, to the work you did during the, the interim period? Well, one of the hard decisions that the vestry that I was on made what, during the interim time is we made that decision that it was mandatory that we cut down the, the draw that we are taking from the endowment if we wanted that to be sustainable. So between the work of the finance committee and the endowment committee, we came up with a five-year plan to draw down our dependency on the endowment. And from what I have seen, and we kind of strapped you with one hand behind your back because the budget that we gave to you was pretty austere. And through that austerity, it really means that parishioners have to step up a bit too. And I truly believe that our parish wants that endowment to stay intact and not have us draw on that endowment. So it becomes dependent upon we as parishioners to take on that financial responsibility. But we really did leave you with one hand tied behind your back. And from what I've seen so far, you and this vestry have been faithful to what was given to you. Thank you. You know, you and I have spoken about how, you know, during this pandemic, um, uh, um, 
we've 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 kept faithful to the the budgeted draw from the endowment, which was significantly less from from last year's, mm -hmm. which was less than the prior years. Uh, we we are not where we need to be, but but we are actually better than we thought we would be, mm -hmm. despite being um, in, in in a pandemic. But but um, you're right. Uh, we we need everyone to step up. Uh, we need everyone more than we ever have before. Um, even at a time when it's uh, um, as challenging or more challenging than it's ever been before. And through this, we know we've had to make some really hard decisions regarding um, our music ministry, regarding our children's ministry. And um, we know that things will come back. We know that, you know, we've had to make hard decisions in all areas. And, um, but that's why parishioner support is so crucial. Amen. Now, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit putting you on the spot, but when you look at Church of Our Savior right now, what, what makes your heart sing? What makes you excited? I'm excited that we are, that we are worshiping outdoors and that, that we are having so many worship opportunities for people through our live streaming, through our outdoor worship, through our Compline at night. And I think that we are doing everything in our power to reach out to our parishioners to give them a worshiping opportunity you know it's it's not what we all want i miss communion as much as anyone else does but i also enjoy that um that corporal worship that we're able to participate in in morning prayer so that brings me joy thank you thank you well Thank you so much for, for spending your time with me this afternoon, Julie. I, I really appreciate it. Um, any, any last words as we end our time together? Just thank you for all that you and the Vestry are doing. I know this is a tough, tough time, and it certainly is not anything that we expected when I made that call about a year ago, <laughs> or you know, a little over a year ago. Yeah, it seems and, like... you know, amen to what you guys have been doing, and, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, Julie. Mm -hmm. Take care.